Hello and welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Janine. I am a video marketing coach and the founder of Boss It Live. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the common mistakes you are making with Reels so that you are getting better results. This is a topic that I think is really, really important as Reels continues to grow and extends from Instagram over onto Facebook. So the first common mistake that I wanna to talk to you about today is the topic around transitions. When it comes to transitions, they need to be quick and to the point and also to match the beat of the music. But too many times transitions are actually way too slow, which means that they're not captivating, they're not compelling. People are looking for that hook, that thing that stands out to them, that makes the content different to what they're seeing elsewhere. You wanna make your transitions seamless. And there are editing tools that you can use to help you do just that, like InShot, which is one of my favorites. The second common mistake are captions being either too high or too low in the Reels frame. It means that those captions get cut off. So for example, if someone's scrolling through your newsfeed and you're going, or, and those captions happen to be outside of the ratio aspect, it will look like you're pointing to thin air. And bearing in mind, my darlings, that most people watch video content with the sound off and not on, what's gonna happen? Wah, wah. So please make sure that you are taking into consideration the correct ratio aspect. And if you want an example of what I'm speaking about, I will link the video where I did a demonstration showing you how you should place your captions. The third common mistake I see happening is in regards to lip syncs. Hmm meaning that the lip sync is not actually in time with the audio. Now I know with Instagram, it can be a little tricky to actually line up your voiceover with the audio, but there's a way around it. You can use two times speed to help you. It will slow down the sound of the audio so that you can lip sync in time. So be sure to try it out. The fourth common mistake that I see happening pretty much ties in with my earlier common mistake about captions. It's regarding thumbnails. If you're using the thumbnail image from your actual video, you need to make sure that it is scaled correctly to fit inside the newsfeed and also on your grid. What you don't want to happen is having some of your head chopped off or an important part of information that you actually need to caption that actual reel. So how do you get around that? Well, number one, you can create your own branded thumbnails inside my favorite tool, Canva. Or if you want to use one of the images from your reels, make sure that you use the cropped profile image feature where you can actually adjust your image to fit perfectly inside of frame. And the final common mistake that I wanna share with you regarding Instagram reels. It's not removing the TikTok watermark from your videos before uploading them into Reels. Ah, now I know what you're gonna say. I can hear it already. But Janine, I see other videos with the watermark from TikTok and they're performing fine. But that's not you though. Don't be quick to follow what other people are doing just because it seems like it's performing and doing okay for them. Think about this logically. What business owner is going to have its competitors advertising sprawled all over its content? Would you do it? Absolutely not. What will take place is that Instagram will deprioritize your content. Yes, they will. But you just have to make sure that you're thinking about and taking into consideration how to ensure that your content is going to best perform on the alternative platforms. So that's it for today, my darlings. I hope that you found this useful. If you have enjoyed today's content, be sure to give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Ta-da, chooks. Bye-bye. I'm going straight out the door, ladies. Peace.